Mountain crabs, you may not have heard of them before, but they have recently been listed as one of Britain's most invasive species. They were accidentally introduced by ships from Asia in the 1930s, and their rapid spread through the British waterways is due to their uncanny ability to cross dry land. DEFRA has recently launched an initiative to try to record their numbers and five other species, including the monkjack deer and the zebra mussel. They're a problem for British waterways, like here, because their burrowing activities cause erosion of riverbanks. On the flip side, in China, the crabs, or rather their gonads, are considered a gastronomic delicacy and could be key to controlling the British population of the Chinese mitten crab. So we've come to the Natural History Museum to speak to Paul Clark, who is a researcher of crustaceans. Good morning, how are you? Okay, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Good. Thank you. You've got a jar there. I've got a jar here, and it's called mitten crabs. You can see here the keeler, and can you see it has little furry mittens on the keeler, and this is a distinguishing feature of the crab, and that's why sometimes they are called hairy crabs or Chinese mitten crab. So we've heard a lot of reasons why these crabs are bad. So can you tell me what's good about them? I don't know if there's anything good about them. It might be good if you're Chinese because in Southeast Asia and China they are considered to be a delicacy. Okay. And you can pay up to $40 a crab of the right size to be eaten. During this migration that we mentioned, the males and females become mature and their ovaries and testes expand, uh, waiting for mating. The delicacy is that the Chinese and Southeast Asians eat the gonads, and that's the delicacy. So is that a way we could get solve the problem? It's possible that we could if we wanted to, because they're in large enough numbers in the Thames. We could fish them and we perhaps could sell them to Chinese restaurants in UK or we could export them back to Southeast Asia. That is a possibility. However, there's one problem. With the work we've been doing in the Thames, we used eel nets to catch the crabs, which was a very successful way of catching uh, Chinese men crabs. The only other problem was we were catching large numbers of eels at the same time as a bycatch. Eels are an endangered species and the EU has just set around a directive to member states saying what are they doing to conserve their eel populations so that sustain more sustainable fishing can take place. So this is an issue if you fished mitten crabs you would be fishing eels at the same time and we could deplete the Thames population of eels at the same time. Difficult decision. We're here on Chiswick 8 and I'm speaking to Trevor Reynolds, the Invasive Species Advisor of the Environment Agency. So why are these crabs a problem here on the 8? Well, they, they've come over probably um, with ballast water as a sort of um, a larval stage yeah. and um, they've been released um, and they, they spend um, they migrate from the brackish waters up to the freshwater areas such as this and they form very very deep burrows i mean some of the burrows behind us uh, go up to a meter into the bank yeah um, and that greatly accelerates the rate of erosion so wherever you know, obviously the environment agency likes using soft defenses because it's good for wildlife um, but you know this is a real serious threat to um, uh, anywhere where we have, we, we're trying to use a natural environment for flood defences. Apart from that, do they do? Do they actually threaten the the local crabs here? Or? Well, they'll threaten all aspects of our, our, our native uh, biodiversity, really, in terms of because obviously these are quite large predators, mm. and um, <clears throat> whenever you introduce a, um, a top predator, a new predator into a, a habitat, it, it puts quite a lot of stress on a, a lot of the native organisms that actually live, live within that. What is the we Environment do. Agency doing to kind of reduce the problem? Well, um, sadly, we, we don't have a solution where we've got mitten crabs. We can't really do much about that. We um, it, There's, there's uh, obviously a lot of people who'd like to trap them, but that doesn't really significantly reduce the population. And what we are keen to do is prevent further spread, mm -hmm. um, because obviously this is potentially quite a serious threat 
uh, to a lot of estuaries. I, mean, I know you can eat them in China. Do you think that people might spread them as a way of making money? That's, our, that's what we're really afraid of, which is yeah. why we're not encouraging the fishery. Yeah. Um, because the risk is if they become a, there's, a, there's a commercial value associated with having them, then you, know, you might get some unscrupulous person decide to introduce them into an estuary near them just so they can fish for them yeah. and, and disregard the huge potential cost in terms of the biodiversity and flood defences. Chinese mitten crabs are a serious threat to the ecosystem and although some groups suggest we catch and export them, we can't do this without threatening the endangered European eel population. Probe catching groups suggest we develop new nets that catch crabs but not eels. But the Environment Agency don't want to encourage a fishery as they fear it will increase the distribution of crabs. They suggest instead that we tighten biosecurity and monitor the crabs. It is a difficult situation. This is Laura Passy reporting for East London Lines.